Hello. It's another lovely sunny winter's day here. Really harsh frost this morning, but the sun's out and it's really quite pleasant. Um, I just wanted to go through a couple of tips on seasoning wood. You can see here I've got the these um, these cages are actually the frames that hold IBCs. IBCs are uh, I think that's right intermittent bulk containers, I think, off the top of my head. I'll put in a clip to show what they actually look like normally and I buy them to use for my um, rainwater collection system but some of them come with cages that are reasonably closed like this there's enough mesh in the cage to hold wood and I tried one out as an experiment well, I tried a couple out as an experiment last season um, because I was dubious about how well the air would get through and actually season the ones in the middle and to my surprise it actually works really well so all I do, and I'm sorting through here just because I'm living up in a little cabin at the moment which has only got a small wood burner. So I'm putting little bits of wood in these ones. This is wood for the campfire for barbecuing on and then this is the bigger stuff to go in the barn and the big stoves. So the container that I'm taking the wood from, none of them are covered normally except for the one that I'm taking the wood from. I just put this bit of ply on, which I tie down in high winds, but generally it's just sat there under its own weight. And that just keeps the rain off uh, once you start burrowing into the stack. So like I say, the, the top ones seem quite damp. Once you get down about a foot or so, it's really nice and dry stuff. This is all actually, uh, mostly what's coming out of here is hawthorn. You can get a hold of hawthorn, it's, it's the best firewood I know. But um, it doesn't normally grow as a tree. It does here because it's, it's all self seed and it's in competition and, and they're grown up and then they tend to fall over because they're on, only on shale. Generally, you won't see this as a firewood, but it's really nice, dense. Once, uh, and once it's dried out, it burns almost as well as coal. So, what I'm aiming for with this system eventually is to reduce the amount of handling of the wood from the tree to the fire and um, what I'm planning to do is I've got a forklift attachment that goes on the back of the tractor and I can just drive down to where I'm processing the tree and do all the processing on the spot right down to the split wood chuck it in the cage and then drive it up with a tractor park it up here and then it can just stay there for the best part of the year until it's needed Unfortunately for that plan, the tractor is currently having a rest. So I've got my baby tractor, which can tow this trolley. It's about as much as it can manage. I'm wondering why don't I just stack it in great long piles like you see people doing. Well, this is essentially all hedgerow trees that I have up here. And they just grow all over the shop. So it's quite, uh, there's nothing I, I can't do freestanding stacks like you see the Scandinavians doing because they're stacking generally birch which is just a lovely straight tree which you can chop into billets and you can it's like stacking bricks it's ridiculously easy um, I do make some stacks but I do them up against something uh, they, they are pretty much self-supporting but they need something behind them um, when I try and make them completely self-supporting they tend to be fine until there's either a high wind or a cat and that's uh, then I have to go and do it all over again. So let's go and have a look at some of the, the remaining stack system. So here's a quick peek at an IBC in its cage. This is what they look like uh, when they arrive generally. It can be a black container or a white one. This is part of my rainwater collection system. Here we are in the vegetable garden and this is a stack that I'm working on at the moment. So this is all the um, this, this bits of wood that's coming out of the woodland that's a bit of a faff to get to so what I'm using is my little baby tractor which can just about manage to get up even, even with the uh, slippery conditions that we've got and um, I'm doing one trolley load at a time and just pulling that out of the woods coming up here and stacking it up here. So, um, so you can see here on this, this long stack, 
this stack runs north to south and the idea of that is this is, um, this is the edge of the vegetable garden and it's catching the prevailing wind which has to blow through the stack and so that's what dries this lot out. So this system works quite well and logically it should work brilliantly because it has the air blowing through it um, for most of the year so it, it should work a treat but surprisingly in my experience the cages the IVC cages actually work better and they're considerably less effort to, to chuck, well, you know, just chuck the wood in you don't stack it at all so I'm kind of moving towards that but it is nice to have a stack I enjoy stacking wood as well it's like dry stone walling and you just pick up a log and you put it down somewhere you don't have a couple in your hand and think oh where do I gonna, you know it's just pick and place when you get into the rhythm of it it's quite it's quite a, a zen occupation I hope that doesn't sound too knobby <laughs> so one other thing I wanted to mention is uh, the moisture meter this thing is bloody brilliant it's got these little spikes on top it costs about 20 quid and it just takes the guesswork out of whether your wood is seasoned or not um, because you can stack it up you can stack it up somewhere you, you can come back to it a year later and it not be seasoned and that's happened to me you know when I first lived here I tried stacking it up in the woodland because I'd read that in one of my looking after woodland books and what I found was because it's shaded and there's not much wind and and so forth in the woodland uh, it was a disaster you know, I actually found a frog in the, in the middle of one of my wood piles, which is a sign that it's not seasoning, it's probably mulching. You know, I think they got wetter in the year than they lived in there. Anyway, so the, the moisture meter. Just grab a bit of wood. Here's the bit I'm not going to show you, but it's really important. You, you chop it, so you've got to split it down the middle, and you've got to stick these prongs in the middle of the bit of wood. So let's imagine we've done that. You just take them in and then it gives you a percentage reading which may or may not be in focus simple as that so for a seasoned wood you want it to be 20 or so is where you want to be aiming obviously wood will burn at higher percentages but what you're doing mostly then is just driving that water out before it burns so you're losing a lot of the energy that could be coming out into the room is going into the log to drive off the water that you didn't do when you when you failed to season it. If that makes sense. Basically, I'm saying burn seasoned wood, not unseasoned wood, properly seasoned wood. And a lot of people say, "Oh, ash is brilliant. Ash is the best firewood because you can burn it green." Well, I got news for you: you can burn any wood green, but it's still not a good idea, whether it's ash or anything else. Because it's still the more water that's in the wood, the more work your fire is going to have to do to drive that water off. And as it comes off, the water is going to, going to a lot of it's going to condense as as uh, soot. You know, it's going to condense the smoke into into creosote on the inside of your chimney, which is a bad thing as well. So yeah, all in all, don't bother whether it's ash or anything else. It needs to be seasoned before you burn it. It's not like it's a difficult process. You just stack it up and give it a big dollop of time. Yeah, you've got to, here, the reason I make a lot of these videos is because here, where I live, I've been here for like 13 years, and I started from absolute scratch, and not knowing an awful lot, and every year, some things have got much easier, um, so I'm just trying to share things that have worked for me, and hopefully that's a shortcut for other people then. To, uh, if they want to do something similar. But lots of people burn wood, so I think this is fairly, fairly useful information. So I think that's it really. Just a couple of ideas. And uh, yeah, stay warm. <laughs>